Uh, so since Nick Seuss uh, is basically our best side by side friend. Hey, thank you. I'd even call that. him a good regular friend. Doug, how do you <laughs> feel about that? Good. He's a pretty good dude. I'm not your regular friend, you son of a witch, dude. <laughs> <laughs> So we decided to say, <laughs> what hey, the hell's going on here? it was just Doug's birthday, uh -huh. like three days ago. So yep. we decided to buy Nick Seuss some wheels and tires. Why? Because you for my birthday. Sit out <laughs> for <and> Doug's birthday. <laughs> Doug, dude, thank you for oh, this birthday. Man. <laughs> Happy my birthday, man. Happy my birthday. I love Doug, dude. Happy my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> so we're buying uh, these wheels and tires mostly because Nick's Turbo S has uh, sort of stagnated itself. Six it's not months, stagnant. not a single mod. Loco, dude? It's dude. just sleeping, dude. It's just right. It's just sleeping and preparing itself for the next season, dude. And it's here. The season's here, but it needs a new look. Yeah, it's, it's like a build. It's yeah. not a build unless it's got tires and wheels on it. He's right. He's unfortunately correct. So really, I don't have a build. I got some doors. I got some amazing suspension. The best freaking market, or best machine on the market, dude. A killer cage made by one of my best friends in the whole world. A rigid, rigid light bar that's brighter than anything you've ever seen, including the sun. <laughs> That's how we heat the garage. Yeah, <laughs> the rigid. Well, yeah, it's, it's it's not a you know it's not a. Bill. Okay, so having said that, uh, we got a new set of wheels and tires for Nick. He told me exactly what he wanted, and uh, we bought them. And Leonardo said this. I got you, little Bubba. If you didn't hear that, I said I got you, little Bubba. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I would say our friends at KMC and our friends at Maxis got these for us, but unfortunately, we just can't really get traction with Maxis. We haven't really tried with KMC, to be honest. Maybe this will get their attention, we though. Want to, we want to rep Maxis, though. We really like their yeah, tires. They're so good people. If you guys are watching, maybe. Maxis will see this. I'll link on the video and say, hey, we didn't, couldn't wait for your sponsorship, you so we just bought them. Both of them, dude. What? Both. Oh, KMC and KMC, Maxis? KMC, dude. Think about it. We're only the best around. Just That's like a... the song. Think about it, dude. <laughs> anyway, uh, why don't you crack open these rims first, Dougie? Oh! Oh, my God, you have a blade? Doug says this. F your blade. I'm so sorry, was, Doug. Wow. I'm so sorry, Doug. Let's just keep ding it. Man. Unbelievable. Don't I didn't cut bring too deep. my blade Don't today. cut too deep. You know, if this is the company I think they are, then hopefully they have a little bit more protection than that. I mean, you can see what company it is right now. Oh, here. what is this? That says Hieroglyph, man. Hieroglyph. <laughs> These are this, alien dude? wheels. <laughs> That's an alien. Oh, man. Oh, man. All the excitement. This, is, the, this is a big moment. We haven't paid for wheels and tires in a long time, so this a is a big one. Time. Something more exciting when you pay for stuff. Oh, wow. <laughs> Those are sexy, man. Oh, oh, wow. This is stuff we're not going to read, but <laughs> there's some more of that. Look at <laughs> Oh, wow. wow. Those are so Those sweet. Super cool, man. I saw the ring in pictures, and I thought it was like painted, and I'm like, oh, that's okay. But like that Bella anodized dude. look, it's so much dude. better. Bella These life. could look incredible. I mean, they're here. They look incredible. What am I talking about, dude? I'm losing my marbles. I need some food. Wow, look at these. <laughs> not that heavy either. Okay, okay, okay. That's with the bead on. Gosh, that's not bad. So these are bead locks, by the way, if you guys didn't see that yet. Yeah, so these are a uh, KMC, KMC Gra Addict 2. Addict 2. You, gotta, you still got to put the valve stems in, though. That's going to make them all. A lot heavier. That's at least... Ooh, got the little gripper on the beadlock ring. Neat. Yeah, so these are nice wheels, yeah, man. KMC makes nice wheels. I've seen a few of these. I, I don't know if I've seen these. I mean, you see a lot of people running the. I don't even know what the other ones are called. What so are the they KMC called? grenade is the grenade. one that you see those a lot of people popular. running. These are a bit different. The addict, sort of a similar pattern, less spokes. Uh, same beadlock, same inner billet ring, same price even, which is good. So we got those, and then we got something else something in the other else. large box. I said this, and those are. Out. Basically a five plus one. So those are a zero offset. They will, or, or I shouldn't say zero offset. They're a plus 38 millimeter offset. They won't plus add any width yeah, to your Turbo S, which, which is already is wide. Uh, like right now, I feel like she's width out pretty good sometimes. Just I mean, fully width. We got to do some stuff to suspension. It's set to dune mode. It's set to really, really send. Really send, you know, and it works really well for that. But sometimes you just want to bring her back down to be normal again. But, uh,. So yeah, I thought these were awesome, and I've had my eye on some freaking tires for a while. My good friend, Brian Lewis, you guys might have heard of him, his name is Flying Friggin' Brian. Flying Turbo Brian. He brings these, this machine years ago. Or was it years ago? It was, like it was a year over ago. a year ago. Yeah, anyways. Because it was this World X3 Champs. With this, with this tire on it, and I go, wow, look ago. at that tire. That thing looks freaking neat, dude. And then that was the end of that. I just moved on with my life and kept living. But, for <laughs> <laughs> so you got these coyotes. Right, that 
They don't work well out here. Here they just don't work well. You know when we went to King of Hammers, we had that, you know, that that mule will say, and it freaking they work so good. Like they just work so well. And I'm like, am I running the same tire? But you bring them out here, just like Slide City. And Doesn't work. The train is so much different, man. Yep. So I'm like, I like the way they look, but I also want a little bit more aggression, more beef mm -hmm. in I your like stew. The beef, so you, I do. I like stews too. That's weird. So why don't you show them this beef stew that we picked up <laughs> from our. Uh, I have yet to People. see these. Alright, you ready for this? Okay. I've seen it. All right. Admittedly, okay. it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! Wow. wow. Those are nice. Wow, dude. Uh, that's a Maxxis Carnivore. That's a Maxxis Carnivore and a 32 inch by 15. And uh, if you guys haven't heard yet, they're aggressive. Why don't you show them the test, Doug? The lug spacing on this. Oh, huge. Is incredible, yeah. So this is the test. I mean, they're not... Uh, they're not stiff. They're not, not super uh, hard. Yeah, they're not a truck tire. These are a side-by-side -side tire made for grip. And for aggression, and for power, and and desire, and adrenaline. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, really light for their size, yeah. and really wide lug spacing, which is just what we need around here because the terrain is all so soft. Yeah, you know, it's very sandy, it's very loose. We get in some mud, so you just need an aggressive, wide space tire. And this has still got that, you know, square profile to it, which looks cool. Yeah. And it's just all around a really nice tire, man. And they're like pretty the light, dude. I think they're like 36 or 37 pounds. pounds. 36 pounds for a 32. Just the sidewalls on them are super nice. You know, lots of detail. Functionally, not that big a deal, but it just makes you feel like you're getting a good product. Yeah, it looks like, cool. There's like raised lettering here on all this stuff. It just looks really, really nice. And it looks like these are, uh, it says DOT test standard compliant. Wow. FMVSS, so it's a DOT tire? 8 ply? Well, yeah, where's no. that DOT stamp? I forget. Isn't there usually one? Doesn't really matter. I that know. might be it. Or that's production date. I don't yeah. really know. Oh, this is orange? Yeah, you're yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> tires, yeah. Long story short, end Long of the day. Long story short, at the end of the day, we got rims and tires from 5 to 68. And that's it. That's it. That's freaking, I'm excited. So, Doug, are you excited? I'm excited, man. I'm Happy really... birthday, Doug! I... Oh, thanks. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited to see my birthday tires on your machine. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, you know, we're Polaris brothers, dude. We could swap, dude. <laughs> I don't care, dude. We'll go uh, freaking same same, dude. Is that Jeez. what Polaris brothers do? Mm. Yeah, Thank dude, God, I'm not do. a Polaris brother. <laughs> if these uh, if these work like I think they might, I could see myself going to them. So, so. What you're oh, saying. absolutely. Okay, good I, see touch. I see where this is going. I like. I could see you with these for sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Having said that, it's time to mount them up, Nick Sue. Yeah, you're gonna take oh full gosh. control of that. So Godspeed. You guys want to weigh him? Smells good. I do want to weigh him. I do want to weigh him. Let's yep. do that. All right, take care. See you around. Sidebysideblog.com garage. Hey, we're back in our uh, testing lab. We just moved two clicks to get to it. Okay. So this is our official hanging. And you might have like pulled down a little bit. So our official two. weight, 37.9. That is a light tire. That's with the strap. That's with the strap. So we're probably like 37.75. <laughs> That's a light tire. That's a lot lighter than stock. I think the Coyotes it's are like 44 lighter. or something. Yeah, no. Yeah, that's pretty good. What are the Coyotes? 40 it's something? Like 42, 42 or 44? We're reducing mass at the most important part of the tire. Gonna add some beef. What more can you ask for? Reducing mass, kicking ass. Am I right, Leo? Am I right? <laughs> yeah, okay. I know. <laughs> Time to weigh the old KMC Addict Twos, bro. I'm gonna guess what? 19 pounds, something like Ooh, that. Oh dang! Wow. What? 17.46? 17, Douglas. That's without the freaking valve stem, though. Gosh. Yeah. yeah. That is up, dude. At least. That's a light 15-inch speed lock. That's a, that's a light 15-inch speed lock. That so absolutely. we're looking at 37 plus 17, 54 pounds. You're losing some weight. So we can measure your stock ones and see how much weight you're losing. I wonder what those are. Actually, we have one outside. Boom. So we got the stock one. I guess a little bit of mud, whatever. I mean, it's hardly mud. Is this another nail? Oh. <laughs> I thought it was a nail in there. Oh, man. The freaking Addict 2 is just a good-looking wheel overall. Yeah. This one and the, the, all the wheels look pretty good. Yeah, KMC doesn't mess around. They've been in the wheel game for quite a long time. I remember when I was a boy. I used to get 
see like truck magazine and oh kmc you know. was so huge dude, yeah, dude. if you didn't have freaking 22 inch kmc's dude you're a loser basically you're just a real idiot but i never had them so okay well, that's good here we are now dude Different so way. make sure you turn on and don't hit the hold button because the hold will like take it to a max I mode like i didn't hold it but that's okay there you go i'm gonna say 64. 59.54. 59 59.54. So about 60 pounds. Okay. Roughly. So a quick math. What did, I, don't, I don't remember. These were 37.5 plus 17.5. Get that. Exactly. 37. Point, <laughs> that's 34. Point 0.5 plus 17.5. 55. We're losing about so 4 pounds. 4 or 5 pounds. That's not bad. That's 20 pounds of rotating mass, bro. It's equivalent to 80 pounds on the frame. You just got, you just lost 80 pounds. Thanks, man. I appreciate it, dude. I couldn't have done it without Douglas. <laughs> well, you're gaining, Leo. I mean, you're gaining traction and bead locks as well. Yeah. You know, yeah oh, yeah. Weight, so. Yeah, because the stock true. wheels aren't even bead locked, man. You know where those can go? Straight on the Craigslist to pay Leonardo back. Thanks, bud. Sorry, dude. I'm never paying you back. Love you, man. That's <laughs> not going to work out. Well, look at you, little bubba. You got yourself the old famous uh, Harbor Freight. Tire tool. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, this is gonna fail. I can feel it. <laughs> Set it on the XX tire. That's always worked for me in the past, yeah. I'm like, let them kind of sink down on the tread. There you go. Amazing. Simply amazing, dude. So we need some W on that rim. I need some W. I need to put this in before it's too late. I always forget that. Oh, yeah. The valve stem, I smart. I'm talking always forget that. Every time we do wheels and tires, dude. Every time. Like, we get great. the whole tire on, we get the bead lock bolted down. Crap, dude. Look how good this looks. Oh. <laughs> we can't put a, any air in it. Son of a witch is to hell. But yeah, we're coming along here, dude. Just KMC in, dude. Max is in, dude. Just doing KMC in, Max is in. Overall, all the right stuff. Overall, poppy corn, dude. Just freaking living the life. You know what I'm saying? Knee slapper. Classic way to ruin a set of pants. Yeah. We've been here before. We'll do it again. So we're just spraying down. The inside of the bead there. So when we throw the old didgery on, she comes right on. Hopefully. And then yeah, you only have to do one side of the tire because the other one's on the bead lock. But this is it, man. I don't think those are directional, are they? I don't think so. No, actually, that's a good point. Leo. Let's look at these. I think they're unidirectional. Like if you look at the pattern, yeah, it just mirrors it's the itself. Either or. Right. You got a claw with the, you got a big claw, big claw, big claw. Hmm. Wait a second. Big claw, little claw, big claw, little claw, big claw, little claw. I guess the claws are going to be in a different. Oh no, they're going to be in the same direction because they're like mirrored. Here? Big claw, little claw, big claw, little claw, big claw. Yeah. Just same. a lot of claws. All sorts of claws. Same, same. Throw it on there, brother. Big claw, little claw. <laughs> I'm over it, dude. Focusing a lot on the claws right now. Look at that. Right on. These are going to be freaking bad. Like, those look so <laughs> tight. <laughs> so these are a 15 by 6 plus 38 millimeter offset, which basically makes it a 5 plus 1. So we're really adding no extra width. I've said that before once. But these carnies are going to be a little ballooned on there because those are a 15 yeah. by 10. So, I need, ideally... That'll set down more as the inside of the tire yeah, works on sure, the bead. Sure. But, uh, so yeah, ideally... They're totally fine. Yeah, they're fine. You'd want maybe a little bit wider rim, but no, they're totally it's fine. Not a traditional setup, I guess. Nice dude. I think uh, it's gonna have a lot of rim protection. You're not wrong. I mean, when I get on Instagram, the first thing I do is usually you go to stories. Yeah. I don't even watch that crap. They stick it right in your face. You're like, yeah. Oh my guess. Let me watch this. They're trying to basically feed you video content. And yeah. because they're a picture based content, like anything they can do to feed you video is better. So we got the bead lock ring on. KMC Addict 2, baby. So next, just, uh, just give these a little finger out. tight. And then we'll go around and probably torque them to 12 foot pounds. And then it'll be time to add air in these bad boys. It's going to be serious. You guys are going to like that. And if you don't, then you don't like it. That's fine. Look at you, Nick Seuss, just lazily torquing them bolts down. I mean, I'm proud of what you're doing here. There's a lot, there's a lot of room in these. Yeah, 
Look how cool they look though. I haven't oh. actually walked over here and seen the tires on the wheels yet. Like these are super sweet. This is neat. I like how the ring in the wheel matches the Harbor Freight. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Danger, man. You need to get a, like a like a billet red uh, anodized curb feeler mm -hmm. for your machine. Anodized. Mm -hmm. This is great feeling. though. You me just turning this for quite some time. Yeah. It would probably be so much better if you had what, did it without the extension, but there we There's are. still a lot. You can see it's quite yeah. a bit, though. Can't really see, so not sure if it's getting down there or not. I think we're squishing it. We're starting to get there because I gave it quite <laughs> a bit. This is just tough to watch. Um, this is not a quick process. We've been here before with hyper dual beadlocks. Remember when we had the hyper assembly line? What a terrible time. Well, dual yeah. beadlocks. We're talking <clears throat> inner and outer. There's just wheels all over the garage just freaking being. And they didn't even fit. Yeah. Torque and V-locks in general has gotten to be a terrible time. I'm just so tired of it. I'm not going to bullshit you guys with the ones that are on the paddles. I just hit him with that. Is it I this? Kind of going into it. <laughs> <laughs> it's calibrated. That was, a, that was a long day. Remember that? It was, we were all sweaty. It was, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. RP arms. Nah, yeah, I freaking took a half day off work and then just came here and did stuff. Just gave it to him and then yeah. just went on from there. Well, anyway, you're about there. I'm proud of you. Everything you're doing is really good. Excellent work. I think uh, we'll be uh, airing this up pretty soon. Look at you, Nikki Seuss. Well, after torquing for about, you know, three hours. 25 to 30 hours uh, for one time. wheel. Yeah, it's time, man. So take this little cap off here. And let her eat with some air. I'm excited to hear the pop. It says max on these are 18 pounds. That's, you know, quite a bit of air. I think you run them at what? Coyotes. Run them at like 12? Well, I think 20, I think they're even higher than that. Yeah, these are a soft tire, man. 255. Ooh, there it is. Oh, so that's about 10 pounds. I'd say take her to like 15, man. Yeah. It might have not done the whole thing. I guess we could take this off and look at it. Yeah. Alright Doug, it's the moment. We should take a look at this. It's a big moment. <laughs> I really like that man. That's cool. Oh yeah, sorry. Unbelievable. Oh yeah. Wow. Yeah, I could use some more air, yeah. That is such an aggressive tire, man. Yeah, those are hardcore. I feel like that's gonna be throwing some stuff when we go trail riding. Yeah, seriously. Like big time stuff. Don't do me a favor. Oh. Got you. It doesn't uh, She's going. There you go. doesn't offset off the wheel as far as I thought it would. Look at that. It's actually yeah, it's pretty a pretty good looking setup. There. Looks good on there, man. Yeah, leave it there for now. See when it's on the machine. Wow. Looks good. Gosh. Wow. Looks, looks cool. Let's get the official aired up weight. So I feel like we're a little bit uh, we're a little now bit that, off. Uh, now that she's mounted. Yep. It's time for the official weight, Nick Seuss. Is your body ready? It is. Douglas? I think your Turbo S is ready for this too. Yeah. Free up some power. Some pawns, dude. 54.34. Okay. And these were 59 and a half, right? Uh oh. Are we touching? Yeah, I don't think we were. Right yeah, so those were, I believe, 59 and a half, 59 right? And some change, yeah. yeah. Which is pretty close to what we said. Yeah, man. So we're talking five pounds per corner. Yeah, and a lot more aggression. Let's see the, gonna, the side by side. She is gonna hook. Now that Kyrie looks a little bit taller, maybe. Yeah, maybe. That's interesting. Kyrie is a little taller, man. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. By how much? I wonder. It's, uh, it's significant. Amount. Yeah. Probably about. Yeah, maybe. Half inch, yeah. I would say probably a half inch sounds pretty good. But still, whatever. You know, when you're just when they're on the machine and you're laying the power down, they'll 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 roll out. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's not really gonna matter. <laughs> I think a lot better looking than the coyote, personally. Like that tread pattern is so tough. Like this is not bad, but it just doesn't work out here in the Midwest, man. Yeah, the coyotes definitely hold a special place in my heart. I think they look really neat, but that is just a badass tire. Yep. And you got a bead lock now. And a bead lock. And you're saving five pounds. Awesome. You got the red. In real life. Pretty yeah. important. Hopefully my hubs aren't rusted to shit. They're going to look like like dick for sure. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting with no cap or with anything. No cap. So they make a cap for these. And I personally just don't really like those caps at all. Look at I got a solution to your problem. 
right there, man. Hit those hubs. What? What is this? <laughs> Is that like RC? It's like spray? RC car paint, man. <laughs> Gloss now? custom red. Rojo personalizada. Rojo personalizada. <laughs> personalizada. Brillante. <laughs> Brilliant. Absolutely. Dang, dude. Man. Dang. Yeah, we'll hit it. We'll freaking. <laughs> Can't look at any worse in the hub right now. Uh, well, good luck on the rest of them, Nick. Yeah, that only took me like. Uh, the better part of 45 minutes. minutes or something like that. <laughs> that looks awesome with those gold beads. Wow. Yeah, that's a great looking wheel. It reminds me of something like, I don't know, well, I kind like of an like RC these. car or yeah, something. Yeah, a little bit. I mm -hmm. kind of like these stock, you know, I kind of like the stock. So it's just like a more aggressive version of that, really. Yeah, that Same. pattern's pretty similar. Overall, good buy for you. Uh, happy birthday, Doug. Happy birthday, Doug. Yeah, thanks, we guys. We love you, man. I appreciate this. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you, Nikki Sue. Just cheating, man. Just cheating. I mean, we've done three of them now, and... They've all held air? They're all... No, no, no. I mean, we've done three of them normally, and now we're cheating. My oh, fingers okay. can't take anymore. Uh, That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. But anyways, yeah. Almost torque time, huh? Yeah. We still got a little bit more, and then, uh... It's almost freaking turbo time. Give me time to mount them up, man. This is really exciting. Turbo time! Too bad this, uh... Really nice, reliable machines in the way. Okay, well, let's push that forward. Push it forward, push it back, throw it in the trash and yeah. That's, yep, that's accurate. Wow, look at you, man. You and the cobalt tool set here just did great just work. I'd like to say something about that cobalt tool set. It's okay. It's a nice set, but I don't use it, so. Use for, pretty much just been using it as a kicking device. Yeah, it just made noise. It just let me know how far back I was, and I never went that far back. Anymore after that. Anymore. So yeah, definitely looks super badass while they're on there. You gotta pull your uh, unit in here and yeah, put these things we, on. Or? We have to, right? That's part of the video, so yeah. Oh, okay. We'll have to bring. Gosh darn. Gosh darn. What? It's so muddy and nasty out there, dude. Well, we can just wait then. How about I don't know, that? No, but it's just like. Let's man, cut to a day like, where it's gonna uh, be nice. Just kidding. Like getting a present, and then just being able to look at it. Yeah, I know what you mean, man. What kind of present would it be? That's like getting a new RC car and just having to just look at it. It's like getting a PlayStation game before you get a PlayStation. Yeah, with no games. Here's a PlayStation, but there's no games. Well, this is a game, but you don't have a PlayStation. No, this is the PlayStation. The no. The field is the game. The players are the same. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. 168 still in doing mode. You're clear. In freaking doing mode, man. Kind of being here and looking at these wheels, looking at this unit, I'm sort of jacked. Yeah, this is probably gonna be super awesome. Hey, happy birthday, Doug. Douglas, thank you for your birthday present to me, man. I really appreciate it. You're welcome for my birthday it's present. It's a circle. Man. It's a tire, yep. It's a tire. I'm really excited to see those on there. Like, it actually looks pretty cool. I just realized how nasty it's going to look. Yeah, it's going to look good. Have you seen uh, carnivores on a Turbo S? I have not seen carnivores on a Turbo S. Have you ever seen KMC Addicts on a Turbo S? I've seen KMC Grenades on every single Bloodlines machine that there is. This is Seuss Lines, baby. <laughs> Seuss Lines. Well, i got to take care of some stuff. Uh, I'll just cut to these things being on. And do it. I don't want to reveal the wheels yet. They're up there. They're down there, I mean. We're up here. That was a lot of bead locking, dude. How do you feel about it, first of all? I feel like my fingers are out bead locked. I'm, I'm done bead locking. But overall, I feel really great. Because once you see it, you're going to feel the same way. You're going to understand it. You're going to feel the same way. Ready for it? Wheel, maybe? Oh, yeah, smart. So, Doug, how do you feel about it? I like it, man. Trans, uh, transformative. It does. Like, it mm -hmm. totally looks, it changes the look of this machine. It does. It changes it from a desert machine to something different. Maybe our like, machine? Like a, like a woods machine, maybe. Woods machine. Ready for it? Looks like a ripper. Great. You can already see the back tire, but you can't see the rim. Boom. <laughs> wow. That is sweet looking. They're beef. Like, there's, there's some yeah. beef on them, man. And those rims are so awesome. They're like clean. The finish on those things are so nice. Yeah, that billet inner ring is awesome. Then I like how it's matte on here, but then 
uh, like a like a glossy, glossy on the outside. Thing. So don't mind this. We're gonna clutch, clean this up. But you know, it's 11 at night and uh, we, it's raining outside, so we're not gonna spray paint in here. Right. So uh, those hops will be cleaned up. But other than that, they look freaking tough as shit, man. This is a good looking unit. It is, man. Uh, once we get her jizzed up, she's pretty. Get a black roof on it. Get a black roof, yeah. Well, that's pretty. gonna look really nice. Yeah, 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 man. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be quicker. Yeah. It's gonna be faster, Lighter, faster. Yeah, hopefully more. Tra I feel like more than anything, as long as I get more traction, like you saw that when I ripped it off, like watching back, like it was just spinning the whole time. Been, like right. always spinning. Like I don't, like I like being in two wheel drive, <coughs> and I feel like with those coyotes, you're almost incapable of running in two wheel drive. Yeah, it ruins you're just it. Just always losing traction. So we'll see how these do. We can't rip them tonight, which kind of sucks. It's like getting the, you know. We have the, the gaming console, and we also have the game, but we have to wait for updates. And unfortunately, the weather is the updates. <laughs> DLCs, <so> man. <laughs> just screwing you over. So having said that, though, we are going to uh, rip this thing outside very soon. That's going to be part of this video. And it's coming up right uh, when, Doug? Look at these gentlemen, dude. Look at these gentlemen. This is a tough unit, man. Good here. Yeah. Let's the this machine, those wheels. So we said that we would fast forward to the future, and here we are. It's a beautiful day. It's 74 degrees in Michigan. Final. Boom. Final. So what we want to do is do some runs. You. I feel like you can feel how it's gonna feel. <laughs> I think uh, I'm gonna feel it, dude. I'm gonna let you feel we'll it. See how it feels. All right, let's go feel it. Just coming around that corner in this million to friggin' mile an hour wind. The red rings on the wheel pop so well when the sun's shining on them. It stands out, like look at that. Oh wow, it stands out. Big time, man. Those things, he's lifting the inside tire, did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Dude, they wow. sling, they freaking sling. They throw some dirt, man. Wow. Here's the thing about Nick Seuss. You get him out in this field, he turns into a savage. Just, flies. Just a savage. That car has always looked and ran really well. Yep. I'm really curious to hear it. Yeah, my, yeah, I am as well. Wow, it looks like they hook super hard. Yep. Like, I'm sure you noticed that in that corner. Of course, he's gonna send this thing to the freaking moon. Whoa! <laughs> Just goes, falls out. Whew. He's flying out here. He's excited, he feels it, dude. He's got the juice. Yep. Wow. Give the belt a rest. Oh. Woo! Wow! Man. Two wheel. So I, I wanted to try in two wheel to start with because that's we're gonna instantly, instantly feel the difference. And I felt like it was pushing, like it was hooking in. You immediately feel the the side traction, man. Like coming into that corner right there, like it wants, it, like it grips up, like the whole. The whole car is yeah. like lifting. It's like, biting it's hard. It's riding yeah. hard, man. I saw it in the corner over here lift the front yeah. tire. Yep. Like, you like, know, trophy truck status. Yeah. This would be uh, interesting. Like, I feel like for sure I need to lower it back down now. Well, yeah, lower down though. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, you could just feel it putting traction out. We're seeing now in four wheel what it feels like. But man, in two wheel, like, noticeable difference. It looks like you're just flying. Right? It yeah, looks I, like you're flying. I assumed he was in four wheel because it was hooking so hard. Time, Wow. That was a big thing with the coyotes, man. Like you almost can't run that sucker in two wheel. Like yeah, not out here you, you can't. Know? It's always just the tail is always just sliding about, and like with this, it feels like it's really digging hard. That was crazy. Man, that was cool. It looked really cool. Yeah. It looked great. Yeah, you can these red rings when the sun hits them from this angle, they pop so just hard. Shine and dude, yeah, yeah, it, it outshines every piece of red in this car. That's awesome. Like they reflect so hard. That's awesome. Yeah, it was KMC, so yeah, I feel like already, just with that, like, big difference. 
Yeah. You've lost some weight. I think four pounds per corner, right? Yep. Yep. That's and a big change. 15, uh, not 59. I know, 59. Yeah, it was 54 it was, to 59. Yep. Oh, so maybe five pounds per corner. That's pretty solid. Yeah, so maybe as a follow-up to this, we'll have to bolt the coyotes back on to some 0-60 yep. to 60 runs. I'll bet it's definitely quicker. I mean, lighter and definitely hooking harder. So yeah, so yeah. Faster. I should pull right there. And then visually, I could kind of, you know, usually around the back end of the field, like usually 75 or so. So, let's see. Nice I mean, man. I did see 80 up here. <laughs> Jesus. It's coming up over here, so. <laughs> You're moving. It could have been a fluke. Uh, well, we'll try four wheels. Do a pole real quick, just right up there. I bet you it'll look real good. Okay, okay. I'm ready. Okay, okay. Interesting with the gauntlets here. The gauntlet's still pretty savage. I think we might have to fill that in a little bit, Doug. Yeah, we might just have to do some work, man. Like, as much as that's gonna take, dirt-wise, like, it's eroded, unfortunately. It's gone. It's a gauntlet. The gauntlet. Here he goes for the four-wheel launch. That car has just always been very quick. Look good, man. So it's hard to tell, really. It's funny, though, when he's sitting way down there, and we're quite a ways away, you could see the tread on the tires. Yeah. That car sounds so good. Yeah, she's running, dude. She's running good. That's gonna be a good race day tire. Yeah, oh yeah. Just out there ripping. What do you bet he's coming for the jump? What do you bet? Oh, he's coming. He's coming. My body's ready. Full send it. Here we go. <laughs> Jump so well. <laughs> Those Turbo S's just work, man. They just work. <laughs> That's a really cool corner that at speed. A, yeah, that was a new line, I feel like. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, he went on the inside of the jump, yeah. Jesus, man. Never gets old. Never gets old watching uh, that guy. It's like, uh, I feel like Nick Seuss has woken up from a hibernation. Man. <laughs> yeah. It gets about 70 degrees, the sun comes out. Boy. Hard runner, man. They look awesome. You can tell how hard you're cornering. You got grass and dirt, all sorts of particulates. <laughs> uh, oh wow. It really looks like they grip super hard. It grips hard. You gotta be easier on the corners again, man. Like before, like I said, with those coyotes, like you could pretty much blow through them, so you could slide around the corner, no problem. Like this, you really gotta throttle control around the corners. But like you can feel it through. I mean, it wasn't much right here. Like time will tell how they really feel. But initial thoughts: they dig hard. <laughs> they yeah. dig hard. You can feel it in the front, in the steering wheel, how hard the front is pulling. Like it's almost. Wow. Pulling. You should try it. Nice. Right? I'll take it for a little bit. Doug's ready. It's been a while since Doug's had a nice rip sesh as well. So yeah, I want to feel the kind of work. I'm excited for you. And they do feel light. Like they're easy to move around. You are moving around. Like four pounds. You might think it's not a lot, but. It Once that four pound night. starts spinning, yeah. I mean, you grab a four pound weight and start spinning it with your hand, spinning. that takes a yeah. lot of power to spin that four pound weight. And that's exactly what the car doesn't have to do anymore now that it's down four pounds. It feels like it's pulling hard, man. <laughs> it pulls very hard. Really happy with that. Can we hold it? Got it? I 
almost forget how good this car sounds. That evil muffler dude and the blow off valve charge tubes. Yeah, it's very enjoyable in the car too because those all you can hear are those charge tubes. You can hear air just whooshing yeah. through, you know, and then the blow off. There's a lot going on in there. Man, look how tough that looks. Dirt fly. Yeah, it looks hella good, dude. It does. Those KMCs are really nice. With the red, like that is, even from out here, you can see the red. It just squats down and goes, man. Like, it feels really, it feels really good. Like, and I miss the feeling of two-wheel drive. Like, being able to ride in two-wheel is very enjoyable. And yeah, these things have some nice bite to them, man. Ooh. Oh, dang, doing some, like, water skippage. Doug Savage feels it. Yeah, he feels it. That's a cool corner right yeah, there. That is That's a fast, really cool. It's going in for the yump, dude. Battlefield yump. It is incredible how fast you go on this thing, Nick. Oh, dang, Doug's giving it. <laughs> Look at yeah, the pair, dude. dude. Heck yeah, dude. <laughs> Going full Sandy. Wonder how he feels about it. Look at those things, dude. They just look good. See, they're just they're, they're digging. digging. Woo. Man, that really is <laughs> next level traction. Right? Like the cornering traction, the lateral grip is unreal. Yeah. Like it sticks. It feels like you're driving on pavement. Yeah. When you come into a corner, it sticks so hard. Wow. It takes a little getting used right, to it, it for does. sure. Like it takes a little different driving style, but that's a good problem to have. Yeah. Like it's super predictable. Yeah. Freaking carnivores, dude. Like we've heard about these things. Everybody says they're awesome. In Michigan, we need a little bit more aggressive tire. Clearly, they are awesome. They just work, man. That was so awesome watching you blast through here. Like, and you could see, you know, because this is wet, you know, sticky yep. stuff here. Just digging in man yeah that's a cool little corner right there man yeah. that was wow awesome. wow so carnivores what Changes do you think the machine entirely it does we've it heard does. a lot of people talk about these tires and i mean i get it lightweight hooks hard looks cool i like them so far i like them i mean uh, they're gonna be a blast in the trail like fast stuff it's gonna be a blast oh my gosh corner to corner yeah when you're in and out of the you know throttle having oof, it hooked oof, that hard oof, right. just like a rocket that should be uh, pretty awesome heck yep. yeah dudes i'm excited for the uh, future of these bad boys so initial impressions obviously awesome uh and the kmc's by the way too let's not take away from those yeah these are beautiful like even this bead lock is like really nice really looking nice because this is a flat which has a little shine, but this is a full shine. And then that bead looks so awesome. And then once we paint these suckers up too, yeah. like it's gonna look really, really great. Wow. Well, man, I'm happy for you, Nick Seuss. Happy birthday, Doug, by the happy way. Happy birthday, Doug. Oh, you yeah, got, your, you, brother. got your gift of being able to drive the car. Uh, <laughs> cool. I enjoy jumping it. Man, it jumps nice. Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah. The extra height, I mean, that, it's hard to go, you know. You have, yeah, a lot of up travel, up as they the say. Guys, yeah. yeah. So Nick, what do you have to say? A little outro here? What do you got for the people? A little outro, if you're thinking about getting a new tire and you're on the fence on what to get and you want like a good softer tire, I would say carnivores. I would recommend them. See, I've had a little rip with it right here. But no, like these tires are they're pretty neat. Back to real quick, I gotta say about that demonstration. Cause that blew me away. You take a, any freaking like truck tire and you try to push your your, your fist through it there's no budge whatsoever and you feel that through the chassis like these you could actually push your your fist through yeah when they're aired down you can basically <laughs> push the tire completely flat with your fist and yeah. the maxis guy showed us that and he yeah. said that's all your bump absorption right yeah. there and the machines that run these desert tires don't get that bump absorption it's just full like it's like you're hitting a block like these you could almost push through them. and they're still an eight ply so like, keep that in mind too there's still a good sidewall for you know, people are looking for like a good all-around tire, but I don't know. I think this is a good setup so far. Those KMCs are badass. Those carnivores, yeah, just so tough and they dig so well. We'll have to give them some more time on Michigan trails, but if you know, history proves anything, the people that ran them before said they're awesome. Yeah. I think they're going to be awesome. So I'm happy for you, man. Well, thank you guys. Really, if it wasn't for you guys, I still be riding the coyotes.
And that is a fact. Douglas, <laughs> that's, a, that's fact. a fact. You guys paid for these. In reality, these are the yeah. first set of uh, blog sponsored accessories that we've purchased. So thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you, Douglas, for your birthday present. Thanks, Leonardo, for giving me the push to make my machine look different. And thank you, Leonardo, again, for giving me tires that'll help me keep this uh, lap time uh, on lockdown. Ooh. We're yeah. going to go faster, Ooh, That might have been a mistake. Doug, I think yeah, there's <laughs> going to be gonna some go changes. Faster. 17s. <laughs> 17s for 2019. It's coming, boys. So okay, okay, we'll okay. get this uh, filled in over here in the gauntlets. Back. Uh, it's going to be back on board real quick. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for just loving what we do. And we love that you love what we do. Because without you guys, we'd just be, like I said it again, just three random dudes <laughs> making fun of each other in a garage. Just a bunch of idiots. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, we're still a bunch of idiots. So, yeah. Just a bunch of bugger hogs, dude. But no, thank you guys uh, for watching and everything you do. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for uh, donating. Thank you for just being as amazing as you are. Well, uh, if you uh, don't subscribe, yeah, you should try that out. Try subscribing. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't have your notifications uh, turned on, maybe turn them on. <laughs> um, I'm gonna lose my outro spot. If you keep <laughs> what the heck, man? But yeah, thank you for everything. Keep watching, keep sharing, keep subscribing, keep loving. We'll keep doing what we do. Thank you, carnivores, for being a carnivore. And uh, Maxis, if you're watching, just sponsor us already, bro. Okay, thanks, bye. <laughs>